Hello and welcome to the Parent Toolkit video series with Washington, Saratoga, Warren, Hamilton, and Essex BOCES. In this video, we will be exploring resources that are available for you through Common Sense. CommonSense.org is the website that you would go to to find out information about anything to do with technology. On their site, they rate, advocate, and educate families about anything that your student uses in regards to technology and multimedia. They also have fabulous resources for digital citizenship. They have started a new, a new website called Wide Open School, where you can have access to information as far as uh, resources for schedules, for any kind of needs that you may have. It helps you with access if you have trouble with internet, and it has lots of resources for your child to help them be successful in online learning. So let's take a look at their website. So when I come over here to their website, you'll see that I'm at commonsense.org. At the very top of my screen, we're going to visit this go to wide open school. When I click on that, the new website will open and this website is wideopenschool.org. On here, you're going to see some great information to help you and your child while you're home. You'll see in the center that I can click on we are a family. And once I do that, I'm going to get two options. I can choose pre-K through five or six through 12. Once I do that, I'm, I'm brought out to this grid and this grid stays the same whether you go to pre-K through five or you go to six through 12. It's just that the types of resources that are behind each of these tiles will look a little bit different. So if I click on daily schedule for six through 12, it's going to give a suggested uh, schedule based on six through eight or through nine through 12. And it's going to show some resources for you that can help you and your child stay on, on task with their uh, different projects that they need to do or different things they need to learn for school. They'll notice that um, midday that they'll that you'll notice that they give you something that's offline. They'll give you some information for the afternoon and some evening activities. If I move over to the young ones, you're going to see that it breaks it down from pre-K to K2 and even up to 3-5. They're going to give morning activities, midday break from screens, afternoon activity, evening activity, and if I go down even to the pre-K, it will give you unplugged activities for bedtime. So you're going to see that it has great resources for you in lots of different categories. As we go through this, you can see that it has all of these different um, ideas and resources for you. So if you need access to Wi-Fi, they'll tell you how you can get that information and they send you out to the websites to help you get all of the different access things that you need. If you have a child with special needs, you can find resources to help you out with your child at home. If you uh, need help with math per se, you can go and see some great resources for you for math um, in both the pre-K through five and in six through 12, you're going to have resources at each grade level that's appropriate for them. Finally, if you go all the way to the bottom here where it says getting started learning at home, it's going to have some great information for you to help you out while you're helping your child at home, managing your expectations, making time for fun breaks, reviewing the school's plans and managing your online time. So that way we can make sure that you're reducing as much screen time as needed. If you have any feedback or information that you don't find on this site, they do have a place for you to ask for that as well. They do have live things that are going on every day as well. So if you go to the live events tab, you'll see different things that are happening daily, as well as scheduled ones that are available for you. So you can see virtual story times, drawing lessons, music classes and performances, and other online learning activities. From here, you can also take a look at the field trips to see some different ones that are happening live. So your child can uh, get to view the world in ways that they never could before. So if you have any questions in regards to Common Sense or um, Wide Open School, I would suggest that you would visit the wideopenschool.org site or commonsense.org for more information on those programs.